Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be taking apart this old broken hair dryer. As you can see, it doesn't really work anymore. We're going to be getting some uh, nichrome wire out of it. Now, nichrome wire is very, very, very um, good at uh, getting hot when you pass electrical current through it because it has a high electrical resistance. So we're going to be using that to our advantage in some f future videos. And um, this nichrome wire is nice inside of hair dryers because it's typically... Um, uh, cylindrical in shape, although it is still quite tiny, uh, or thin. Um, in, uh, toasters and stuff, there's also, um, nichrome wire, except that it's in very thin strips, so it's not very useful to us, except to maybe dissolve in some, um, hydrochloric acid, and I do that in a process, uh, in extracting chromium from it, since nichrome wire is an alloy of chromium and nickel. So, anyhow, this is an excellent source of um, nichrome wire, and you can pick up an old one at any second-hand store for a fairly cheap price. So, um, I'm going to open this thing up, and we'll see what's inside. Okay, so the whole casing assembly actually came off quite easily, which was quite nice. And you can see we have um, a bunch of nichrome wire all in here. Now, this does not look like the typical nichrome that I've seen, although it might still be some other sort of re resistance wire. Um, this one definitely looks like nichrome, this uh, bundle here. This is kind of interesting because um, these three at the front are on a separate circuit from these three because um, you have the switch here and one's going to be high, medium, and low um, heat. So for like uh, low heat, it's probably just one coil on. For um, medium heat, it's probably these three. And then for high heat, all of them on or something like that to give you the different uh, amounts of heat. So anyhow, so here's all the wire that we're going to be after, and uh, this might be nichrome, so if you are going to try to extract chromium from this, um, you can test if it's uh, nichrome wire by seeing if it's attracted to a magnet. If it is, then it has nickel in it, it's probably nichrome wire, because nickel is magnetic. Now the other thing here is a small DC motor with a little fan on it. You can tell it's a DC motor because there's a diode bridge and four rather large diodes hooked up to it to power this diode bridge. Then there's just a couple of switches, but other than that, there's not very much. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the nichrome wire in different parts, and I'll be back. Okay, so you can see I've just kind of draped one of those longer wires across the whole thing and hooked it up to the power cord that was attached to the hair dryer. Now, this is just one of them, and it's not the full length, so it should get quite hot. And, um, anyhow, I'm just seeing, um, if we can get this hot enough to glow red hot. So, there was four of these, um, nichrome wires in total, so there's three more coils over there. And if I just turn on the power, let's see, uh, nothing's really happening yet. Oh, but it's smoking. Oh. Oh, that is awesome. Look at that beautiful glow. And that appears to be how hot it's getting, which is exactly perfect. It's not getting too hot to melt. It's just getting hot enough to sustain a good current of heat. Let's turn that off. That's exactly what we need. I'm going to be using this to... Tr um, most of, <coughs> most of this wire to try to build a vacuum electrolysis setup, um, and that's basically going to be so that we can electrolyze materials under a vacuum, so that it can't oxidize um, in the air or anything. That's going to be making it super useful for making things like potassium and any of those extremely reactive metals that will just blow up in the air or burst into flames in the air. Anyhow, so this is a real useful thing. And we can do so much with some nichrome wire. We might even be able to make a small uh, furnace with it. Anyhow, so go ahead and get yourself a hairdryer or something for really cheap and take it apart because you're going to need this for future videos probably. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed and see you guys in future videos and we'll hopefully use this. Okay, bye.